<laughs> well, that was a nice shot. Okay. That worked out quite well. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. This is the Des Dead series. I am an old guy gaming. We play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. Uh, our map is generated by nitrogen, and it is uh, a complete wasteland map, 100% wasteland, except for a small green forest biome somewhere on the map that we're trying to find, but we don't know where it is. And uh, that's what we're about. Okay, so we are, we just finished looting um, all the POIs in this ne next area, and now we're going to get on the road either this road or this northern road, and then keep heading out and looking for that forest bomb. So we're kind of working our way west at this point. And if we get all the way west and we don't find it, then we will um, go in another direction, basically. Okay. So if you didn't catch the last episode, we had a huge fight, and we... We, they, the zombies killed us. They, they jumped us, like literally jumped on our head, jumped us. So it didn't go real well for us, but uh, we managed to, f to come back and eventually, you know, loot everything anyway. So everything that we wanted to loot. So that road's going kind of to the southwest. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we go north or south or east or west. I have no idea absolutely no idea where this green biome is so let's just get on this road and follow it and, if, and it looks like we're gonna go more southwest than west that's fine not a big deal all right let's head out we do got a farmer brown over here want to be careful of him and i hear a dog too okay, there's the dog another dog there too damn dogs are all over the place man farmer brown go down a little further i think he did is that a lootable locker it is not but there is a backpack on this thing down here go away farmer brown you son of a Come on, dude. Follow the rock. There you go. There's a cabin over that way. See, it's not really my intention to loot every single POI we come across. I really only wanted to try and get, you know, to the to the end loot in those places. And we, for the most part, that's what we did. I mean, there was a couple of places that we sort of looted the whole thing, but they were the smaller ones anyway. Yeah, come on, dude. Just get the hell out of here. Okay, let's check this real quick. Uh, no. You know what, though? We can scrap a doodle of that and get some more wood. And we need to hit uh, some cars, too, and get some gasoline. For our auger. So let's do that over here. That dog's sort of kind of close, but he's not super close. that that's water down there right yeah okay um we will take that everything else we're gonna leave but it doesn't matter because we're going to uh, wrench the car anyway Okay, this is going to make some noise, so we need to keep our eyes peeled. Did I reload this gun after we... No, I didn't. Doggone it. Glad I just thought of that now, huh? Every time you put a mod on a gun, you, uh... 
Okay, hold on a sec. Forty-seven. So this guy does more damage, but this guy has more uh, a larger magazine, like significantly larger. Eight more rounds. I think we should swap those. I'd rather have the, the, the gun that has, oh, shit. you know, that has the, the more capacity. There we go. So we gave up, we gave up three points of damage, but we gained almost eight bullets in capacity in the magazine. Okay. That's probably enough. I don't want to carry extra gas with me just because our inventory slots are so... Limited, you know? Um, all right, I don't know if we completely filled that up or not. Let's get... Okay, so it holds 288 gas. So let's just try and remember that for next time. Let's go over to this car. Loot it. And then we'll put this extra stuff inside. Because we just don't have anything we need it for right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're doing really good on stamina. Stamina cap. <clears throat> so we'll get back out on the road and we'll move out. So we could get all the way to the far southwest corner of the map and not find anything. Oh, crap. Hold on. You know, not find the green biome or the mega city. But my general plan is to find the green biome first and then stay there for a while, make a make an, a real base, make a garden, get leveled up, geared up, and then go out and find the mega city. However, if we find the mega city first, we might do that in reverse. And then the end game will basically be us finding a paradise to live in after we've endured the wasteland for so many weeks, months, years, whatever. Whatever the timeline is. Okay, this dog's being a pain in the ass. Whoa. Damn it. <sighs> ah! Shit, shit, shit. You too, huh? Okay. Die, and Edgar, die. Please. Ah. Not good. <clears throat> okay, that was my stupid fault. I mean, it wasn't my fault that we got rushed by a bunch of zombies like that, but... What I should have done is I should have not changed weapons until we completely ran out and then switched to the next weapon. So I kind of confused myself by trying to switch back and forth too much. Man, it sure is causing us to blow our ammo, isn't it? 
So, you know what? Um, I'm not leaving this stuff here. Maybe we'll leave the... I mean, I'll, I'll leave the guns here, but I'm taking the I'm taking the ammo because it's just sucking up too much of our ammo. <clears throat> Anybody around? Okay, where's our bag? It's off that way. Let's go back again. Yeah, so the next time we get into a shit situation like that, we need to just... Uh, we need to just... Stay on the same weapon until we completely exhaust it, and then switch to the next weapon in line. Because I just got... I just got a little confused, is all, and then... <clears throat> I switched back to the weapon that I had already run out, and then I wasn't loaded, and then, of course, they killed us. We've already hit that. Okay, let's go around this way. Wait. No, actually, it would be better for us to go this way. It sucks, too, you know, when, when you get rushed like that. They start coming at you from multiple directions. Another damn dog. But what can you do, you know? It's just bad luck. Way it goes. Yeah, I think we're okay from him. snake to aggro us because then we'll have to run from it and we'll attract attention. Well, so much for not attracting attention. All right, let's stay crouched, but we'll just sprint crouch. The nice thing about the snakes, though, is they usually they usually give up fairly quickly when they're chasing you. I think we're clear. Did our snake buddy give up? I think it's time to repair this. Seven six two is getting really low, guys. Okay, you're already loaded, and you're loaded. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Now I wouldn't mind aggroing that snake. Get some meat off him. He's still around.
Yeah, he could be anywhere. There's a big old bear over there. We don't want to get his attention for sure. There you go, buddy. Alright. Let's kill Baldy. We'll just make a little... Our usual thingamadoodle here. Hold still. It's like all over the place. Okay. There's Nurse Nancy down there. Let's put this down. And then let's put this on our toolbar. Come on, Nurse Nancy. Well, so much for the turret helping us out, huh? <laughs> Hold still. Okay, she's out of the way. All right, we got it easy on the road up ahead. I think it's time to get the hell out of here. We will leave this here in case we need it in the future. Let's just upgrade this one too, just so it's a little stouter. All right, let's move. Let's move and groove. I'm I'm just a little bit irritated that we blew so much ammo, you know, back there. But it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. Let's just move on down the road and keep going. Might as well kill easy. Are you a feral easy? Nope. Give us our bolts back, dude. Okay, it's getting on towards night, too. That's not going to help us. Look at this road. It's crazy. Kind of formed in an odd way. Let's just be careful going through here. We got a dog and an Edgar. Yeah, Edgar's going back the other way. That's good. So we've got like one of those big uh, power station towers over there. And it looks like there might be a waterworks that way too. Definitely some POIs. Um, not, 
not take any of that. Good stuff, but we don't have room for it. Not while we're traveling. You guys are probably getting tired of hearing me say that all the time, huh? <laughs> the reason I say that is because inevitably someone will be watching, particularly if this if they're watching me for the very first time on this episode, and they'll go, why in the hell did you just leave a sewing kit behind? Well, that's why. We're traveling light. We're traveling light. Uh, where'd that dog go? I'd like to loot that car. Let's eat this now. Let's turn these into bolts and these into junk turret. I don't really relish the idea of being out in the wasteland at night. Like, all the way out in the boonies at nighttime. We did that on, uh, I think it was the second episode of my first round of Wasteland Survival. I only did, like, uh, two videos, and then we, re we started over because of the changes we made to the map. All right, Edgar, you're going to be a pain in the ass, aren't you? Come on, fatso. Gotta get everything situated here. You know what we should do is... Where's he at? He's right there. Okay. Should put this right here. that junk turret go. I was afraid he was going to get on the wrong side. <laughs> That's okay. We softened him up a little bit. Hold still. Oh, shit. He's all over the place. There we go. Weren't even loaded. Still don't think we're loaded. I switched it again too soon. There we go. All right. So we got that in seven. Let's reload. How's our wood doing? 242. Okay, we're not in too bad a shape for wood. All right, let's keep moving. Um, I want, I'd like to try it. What time? Oh, shit, it is really late. I'd like to try and get to that POI or a POI before nightfall proper. And then, you know, we can hang out on the roof or do something. I don't know. I just don't want to be out on the road at night. It's so scary. <laughs> so scary. There's a dog over there. A little bit. I don't like these little banks that you can't see over the top of either. Those make me nervous. All right, what do we got over there? Uh, I don't recognize that place from here. 
We could hang out on the roof of the power company. Um, we've got a house right up that way. Now we're going northwest. Oh, there's a snake. No room for it, guys. No room for it. Gotta stay as light as we can. Oh, Alright. Um, Let's see. Let's put those there, those there, and get our pistol back down here for oh shit moments, which we seem to be having a lot of lately. Alright. I want to move... We're going to move across here. work our way to that house over there and see if we can get there before nightfall. Shut up, Vulture. Ooh. That, uh, that, that might, that looks like a town. I see a lot of POIs over there. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. I think we found a town. It's the first town we've found so far. In this playthrough. Oh, you know what else we should be doing? Is we need... I want to make another bedroll so we can set a new spawn point. Once we do get perched up on the roof or wherever we go. There we go. That's enough. Uh... We could work our way towards that barn. There's some good loot in that in the uh, loft of that barn. We'll have to fight a couple zombies for it, but I like the idea of hanging out there tonight. Let's do that. We are running out of time, man. I mean, ideally, we want to get there right at nightfall, but... Not, we don't want to get in a hurry and get killed in the process either, though. Take that now. It's not the time to be running out of stamina. We're definitely taking sexy tea for our next point. Hands down, gonna do Ooh, it. Shit. Hey, there's corn over there. That's good. Lots of corn. Come on, Mr. Bear. Go away. There you go.
More durability, but not as much armor or effect resistance as what we're wearing. Okay. That was loud. All right, so let's see how we're going to do this. We need to get over to the roof there. we should leave those there if we really get in trouble we could retreat to the tower okay so I think we want to be right about here let's put a torch down The bad thing about this POI is that the big trunk with the fat loots in it is locked in here. So, but we do have a full tank in the master key, so it might not be a big deal. Let's break another one of these out. So we've got to do a couple of things here. We're going to have to block this. At least temporarily. And we have to get this ladder broken off over here so they can't get up here. So that's secured. Now there's usually two two zombies over there. Uh, and sometimes one of them's a biker too. Um, so what we want to try and do with them guy those them guys, those guys. There's a pig down there. Is we want to try and get them to to fall off. Can I get a torch on that? Yeah. How about the other side? Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Apparently zombies don't hear stuff like that. Alright. Let's get rid of this thing. That sucks. We lost two torches. Okay. 
needed to get some kind of light down there. Okay, so I see a cowboy bob over there. Um, let's see if we can get him to... Oh, <laughs> that was a nice shot. Okay, that worked out quite well. Um, now, there's could be a Zeker right behind that uh, concrete there, too. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go... ...and here. And pick those up. What? Whoa. How did she get over there? We just killed the zombie that was standing there. That was weird. Okay, well, she shouldn't be able to... I don't think she'll be able to get to us. Now, it is possible in this PO, I've had this happen to me before, where, you know, they can, they can break out onto the lower part of the roof and then run up and, you know, come break back through up here again. It's not likely to happen, but it could happen. Okay, so I guess the question now is, is there another zombie in that corner? If there is, I think we're just going to have to fight him head on. So let's get our shotties ready. Everybody loaded up. There might have been, oh, you know what I think it was? I think she was there and the cowboy guy was over that way. So sometimes there's a guy right here too, but it doesn't look like there is. Okay, good. Whew, all right. So let's put a light up. Uh, there. That's good enough. And let's set ourselves a spawn point up here. Doesn't really matter where we put it. We'll just put it right there. Put a gasoline in here. Oh, good. So we can use that for... Because, I mean, when we start the master key, we're going to, like, totally aggro everything in a million miles around. Okay, let's get this loot going. Oh, nice. We needed those bullets bad. Yes, we did. We certainly did. Okay, working stiff. What kind of cool stuff can we find out of here? <clears throat> That's useless to us right now, anyway. That's useful. That's useless. We'll just keep it in there. Medical supplies. That's useful. All right. So this guy's locked. I think it's 7,000 hit points. Yeah. All right, well, let's wake the dead.
That's funny, our stealth meter just went back down, even though we're running this thing full bore. <laughs> We, you can definitely tell that we don't have any points in the minor 69er because it's taken so long for this to break. Still better than beating it on it by hand, though. But I think I think we need to take a point in Sexy T before we do minor 69er, but we'll do both of them for sure. I wonder if it would behoove us to go ahead and take a point in lock picking. You know, because then, then we can just make a stack of 50. They're really easy and cheap to make. And then we can open these up, you know, quietly. That didn't seem to rile a bunch of... too many of them up. That did. All right, what do we got? <sighs> Structural brace mod, um, a junk turret, we'll check that, and an iron helmet and a foregrip mod. Nice, I don't care about the baseball bat parts. Sometime I should try out the baseball though. Okay, so let's put this on our shotgun. That increases it by one point. What if we put it on here instead? Increases it by four points. Yeah, that's probably the better thing to do. Okay, the structural brace. That's just a that's a durability thing. So that would be useful on probably on our pick, I'm thinking. Because we use our pick quite a bit. So let's put it on there. And let's see, we normally have 71 block damage. Now we have 77. Okay, so that added six more points of block damage to our pick. Um, this guy has the same armor, but two more effect resistance to what we're wearing now. But it also has a 20% noise increase. We're wearing a football helmet. You know, I think I'm going to keep the football helmet because if this gave us more armor, I would go for it, but it doesn't. So, yeah, I think we're going to keep the football helmet. So let's scrap that. All right, and then we'll compare the turret. So that's 13. Yeah, this one is inferior, so I don't care about it. All right, guys, that's it. So I'm going to probably just... What time is it? Okay, just turned 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm probably just going to hunker down up here tonight and not do anything. And then wait till morning before we head out because I I just do not want to be out and about with all the ferals running around. Uh, very dangerous, very dangerous. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.